Hello everyone, this is Mustafa and today I'm going to talk about how you can shade your 3D models in Maya 3D. So the first thing you, you want to do is, of course, you have to import your 3D model. I've called mine Throwback. So import, just like that. And then go up here to the box right there, click, and then click this one to show your textures. Now the first thing you notice is that Maya has applied some kind of light to your model and we want to remove that. So go up to Lightning and use no lights just like that so this is how your model looks when it's not shaded and there's two ways we can uh, shade our model we can let the uh, Maya 3D do it for us or we can do it manually first I'm going to show you how you can make Maya 3D do it for you so click on the model then go up to color and batch back mental ray click on the square right here make sure it says Bake to vertices and then go down here to vertices, bake set override and make sure color mode is set to occlusion. Now click on convert. This is how your model will look like when it's shaded. Uh, as you can see the, the textures are gone so we want them to, to come back. So go back to color, color material channel and diffuse. This is how your model looks like when it's shaded and I think it looks good looks alright since uh, we are dealing with a very low poly model now as you can see right here we have a black line and it doesn't really look that good so I want to I basically want to uh, uh, remove it and now I'm going to show you how you can do that by manually um, shading so click on your model and go up to color and then uh, paint vertex color tool click on the uh, square right here now, since it's a black line, we want to remove it. That's why the color value must set must be set to white. And also click on this one. So what I'm going to do is I must find the vertices. So just bear with me for a second. Oops. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So if I zoom out for a bit, you can see I've removed the line almost now there's also this line right here and it just doesn't really look that good so I go back to paint vertex tool and then let's just play around a bit Just hold down B to make this larger, the paintbrush, and then start painting. Just like that. And uh, I get this one right here. Just like that. I hope it looks a little bit better now. And then continue doing it. Just go up here. There's also, let's just go back to. Uh, paint vertex color tool and then start this one also painted excuse me yeah looks a lot better now in my opinion so yeah guys this is how you shade this is how I shade when I make uh, my levels and um, yeah thanks for watching